OK, so you want to return a series of random numbers with no duplicates. And I'll show you how to do this in Excel 365, but also in older versions of Excel. We'll start off with the Excel 365 solution. And the first function we're going to use is rand array. We've got rows and columns. If you want a column of random numbers like we do, then you'd specify the number of random numbers you want in the rows argument. Conversely, if you want a row of random numbers, then you specify the number of random numbers you want in the columns argument. So we want a column of random numbers. So I could either write the number in there, or I could refer to a cell that specifies the number of random numbers I want. Now, the number of columns I want is one, and the minimum value is the smallest random number you want to return. Again, you could type that in or refer to a cell. Max is the largest random number you want to return. So you can type that in or refer to a cell, comma. Integer, if you want to return integer values, then you need to specify true. And you'll see you get a list of integer values. If you don't go for integer and you just leave that argument out, it would default to decimal and you'll get a list of decimal random numbers. Now we want integer random numbers. So I've got to write true in that argument. Now the thing is here, you can see that I've got duplicates, 13 twice there. So to get rid of duplicates, I can use the unique function. Problem with that is, is it obviously has removed the duplicates, so I'm ending up with less than the specified number of random numbers. Now to get around that, I need to return more random numbers than I'm specifying here. So one way around that would be to raise the rows value to the power of two. So now I'm getting more random numbers than I want. So what I'm gonna do is just extract the first eight random numbers from this list. And I can do that using the index function. Array is the array of results that you want to extract a certain number of rows from. So that's returned by unique and rand array, comma, and row number, where we want to return the first eight rows within this array. And to do that, we can use the sequence function. The number of rows I want to return is specified here. I close the bracket for sequence, and then for index, press enter and I get the correct number of random numbers. If I change this to 12, I get 12 unique random numbers. Now, one application for this is you may want to, at random, choose from a list of volunteers. So you can see here, I've got my volunteer list and I've got a volunteer ID one through to 20. So I'm gonna look up those volunteer IDs and return the volunteer name. But to do that, I can use XLOOKUP. The lookup value is returned by this formula, comma. My lookup array is the volunteer ID column, comma. And the return array is the volunteer name column. Close the bracket for XLOOKUP, press enter, and I get a list of random volunteer names. If I change the number of names that I want to return to say five, I should get the correct number of names chosen at random. Now, if you're in older versions of Excel, things aren't quite as good for you. You can still create random numbers. You can either use rand or rand between. Rand if you want a decimal value, rand between if you want a integer value. Let's look at rand first of all doesn't have any arguments. So it's gonna return a value between zero and one. You can always multiply it up. If I said times a thousand, you get a different range of numbers. The other function is rand between. And here you specify a minimum number. So let's say that's one. And then I'll say the top number is 25. So I'm returning a random number between one and 25. And then all you do is copy that formula down for the number of random numbers you want. But you can see you're gonna end up with duplicates. 
So say I wanted five random numbers unique, then I would want to create more than five random numbers, enough to be able to extract unique values from. So let's go down a little bit further to be sure. And then you want to copy and paste values. If you don't do this, every time you do something in Excel, it will produce another set of random numbers for you. So we need to paste in values. So we go to this paste button and choose this button here, paste in values. And then I need to extract unique values from that list. So I'd go to the data tab, data tools group, and click on this button, remove duplicates, click on okay, and it would remove the duplicates. So then all you do is you delete the duplicate numbers you don't want to return. So I think I said five unique numbers. So there they are, the five unique numbers that I want. So it's nowhere near as automated as Excel 365, but it is still possible. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.